Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Dota Survival Let's Play series where, whoops, <laughs> where in this episode we have updated to the new snapshot 20w15a. And I'm sorry we did not cover it in the last episode, but we kind of needed to get the food stuff out of the way. Um, we needed that either way, so yeah, but anyways, in today's episode we will be exploring the new biome that they have added. Uh, basalt deltas. Am I, am I correct on that? Yep, basalt deltas. We are going to be visiting that new biome, and I think I am pretty much prepared. But first, I want to try something. Um, I don't remember if it was soul sand or if it was soul soil, but you should be able to now make a campfire with this stuff. I think. Oh yes, you can. So soul soil and soul sand works as well, so that's cool. Soul campfire. And I, I just think it looks way cooler than the just regular fire. Like, look at that. That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, that is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna set up two here. Uh, actually, I can't set up two because I don't have any more wood logs. And guess what? I don't have any more bone meal, so I can't grow any more of these trees. Um, I could, of course, start chopping these down, but I don't really want to. Also, because this stuff, from my knowledge, still doesn't decay, which I really hope they add. Um, but anyways, that is something cool that we can make. But I think I'm pretty much prepared almost a stack of food. Oh, yes, I forgot. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot that I want to... Oh, I actually don't have enough. Um, I don't have enough. I wanted to make two ender chests that we could basically bring with us and use as a backpack. Uh, but unless... I guess we can roll with just one and then eventually make a new one, I suppose. Question is, can you use... Can you use Crying Obsidian to make an ender chest? No, you cannot. Hmm. Well, I can make one. And then I'm just four obsidians short, which we might find in a fortress or we could get it from trading. And since we are going to get into new area territory, um, we will probably get more gold. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make an ender chest and we're going to bring that with us just so we have a little bit more inventory space for what we may find. I don't have any more arrows. Also, I did a little bit of um, uh, battering off camera and we got some, a, li a little bit of extra iron. Uh, 13 nuggets, I believe it was. So, what do we have with me? Armor, my leggings are about to break, but I guess that's fine. I guess we can break some leather ones, because why not? Because they're probably going to break at some point, so might as well grab a pair extra. Um, fire resistance, because we are going to uh, ride our strider, which for that I'm going to take my fence with me. Um, yeah, I think we should be good. Now, the direction I want to go in... It's going to be that way. I want to go in a pretty straight line. All right, sorry for the cut there, but I had actually forgotten to name these guys again. I'm so sorry, but uh, that has been fixed now, and I think I have decided their names. Um, I've only picked two names, so we still need a name for the little one. Um, there we go, the baby one that is now grown. But anyways, let us take a look, shall we? So... The one with the saddle, um, all of these are inspired by comments. This one with the saddle, we're gonna call Struder. Just, that, I th just think that's a funny and cute name. <laughs> and the other one without a owl, without a saddle, um, because, you might have seen a little glimpse there, um, they don't really have gender, but I guess I just assume this is the male and the other one is a female, I don't know. Anyways, this is Jackie. <laughs> this is Jackie, I don't know. Just, just because um, a comment suggested, I think, was it Jack or Jake? And I just thought because they made this guy, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know what you think of that in the comments. <laughs> Anyways, let us take a hop on Struder here. Ow! 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 Okay then. Um, yeah, I wish they would fix that. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Struder. Let's go. All right. Ah, that's the issue. They're gonna follow me, aren't they? Uh, gonna go here. No, they're actually not. Okay, cool. 
All right, yay fire resistance, and off we go. In this direction. I don't know how far, but we're gonna continue in this direction for a bit. Um, until we can't really continue anymore, until we hit land, basically. Um, because I want to go as much in a straight line as I can to hopefully get into newly generated terrain. So yeah, let's uh, let's go for it. Uh, I think I'm gonna go a little bit this way, and yeah, I'll be back if something interesting happens. And I'm, I'm not gonna press shift. <laughs> I'm just gonna remove that hand from the keyboard, right? Yeah, good idea. But yeah, let me continue this way and I'll be back when something interesting happens or we get off this thing. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so quick update. We have actually hit a, um, a ledge here pretty quickly, but I'm just trying to go ahead and go around a bit to see if we can maybe get around it and continue a little bit more. But it does look like we are getting to a point where we might need to get off, unfortunately. I also don't want to go on... Um, well, I can't really go into areas where it is lower than three blocks. Which this seems to be. I don't know if we could get through that. So I think, unfortunately, we might have to get off here. But this certainly did bring us somewhere. So... Uh, I hope the Hawklins and Piglins won't attack the Strider. You know what, I'm actually gonna park it over here in the Warped Forest. I feel a little bit uh, safer to put Struder there. So let's hurry up over there and uh, find a good place to put him. Uh, not here. I want to be able to actually continue instead of having to mine. But this is so cool. Um, speaking, well, just while we are riding here with the new biome, uh, we can get stone. Basically, stuff that is like stone. Um, blackstone is what it's called? I, I don't remember what it's called, but it's cool. Um, and we can make stone tools. And that is a huge, huge thing. And I will assume that we can make furnaces as well. Uh, can I get you up here? Not really. Uh, I then want to just do something like this, just to keep him in here. <laughs> so make a little fenced area here, just so he doesn't wander off. I don't know if he will wander off. I'm doubting it. But... Yeah, I don't want that to happen. All right, get through here, and boom. I don't know if they wander off, actually. All right. Oh, I got over here now. Sweet. Hey, buddy, Struder. I'm going to leave you here, but I will be back for you. Um, and I'm going to take note of the coordinates just so I know where I need to go. Um, also, another thing that I really, really need is more bones, because I am completely out of bones. See you, Struder? Uh, he probably already misses us. Oh well. We'll be back. Uh, but yeah, I need a lot more bones, actually, because I'm all out of bone meal. So, I need more bones so I can get more wood and stuff like that. So, I'm gonna grab these when I see them and stock up my bone supply here. So, it is really cool that these can actually get turned into bone meal. That is actually really cool. Alright, getting this one. That doesn't... I mean, it is quartz. That ore just looked different to me. Oh well. Alright, let us hit on through this. And also, look at the particles. Those are... I don't believe those are new, but they're, they're cool. Alright, well, assuming we can even continue here. Assuming we can continue. Uh, actually, it doesn't look like it at all. Maybe up here? We might have reached a dead end and might need to uh, go back. Yeah, this seems like a pretty dead end. I might need to go down a little bit further. Um, don't really want to cross the Crimson Forest <laughs> because, well, Hucklins. And also, by the way, in the last, well, if you didn't see, in the last episode we made a Hucklin farm. But apparently, baby hucklins don't drop meat anymore. Um, 
So that is going to make it a little bit less effective, but it is still going to be quite effective compared to anything else that we can make down here. So it is a, it is still pretty good. All right, I'm gonna continue down uh, this lake here, Lava Lake, Lava Beach or whatever, and I'll be back once I find a way through that we can take. I really want soul sand. All right, I'll be back. There's a skeleton and I forgot to make a shield. That's not good, ow. Well, there goes my leggings. That was not a whole lot they needed to. That's a very powerful bow. That was actually close. That was actually pretty close. <laughs> Too close for comfort. All right, so at this rate, I have decided to go back to the Crimson Forest and try and cross that instead because it's gonna be closer than me keep walking and hope for a, uh, a passage. So I'm gonna walk over to the Crimson Forest and hope that we can continue there. Also gave Struder a little bit of more, a little bit more space because I, I felt bad. He, he didn't have enough space. So yeah, he, he has enough space now. <laughs> he shouldn't be able to get up that hopefully. Um, all right, let's move. There are so many hoglins here and also after me. Oh dear. Uh, that's so many, so many. All right, found a passage through the Crimson Forest and looks like I am now out of it. Now to continue forward. Oh, gold. I'm definitely gonna take some of that. <laughs> definitely gonna grab some of that on the way. Uh, can't pass up gold here. I think we made it. We made it. <laughs> we actually found a basalt. Uh, wait, what's it called again? Uh, basalt deltas. There we go. Basalt deltas. That's gonna get a little bit time to take it, get used to. But look at this. It looks cool. There's so much. Well, basalt here. But look at this place. This is the black stone. This is the stone that we can use to make tools with. And it is also the home of magma cubes. Eh. Could you please? No. This is cool. I love this biome in the nether. Black stone. There we go. How about we already now get some tool upgrades? There's some gold there too that I want to get. Wow, and also the particles and the atmosphere and the fog. I love it here. I love it. It's so cool. This place is amazing. I love this place. There should also be a black stone variant of gold. Um. So that's cool. Oh, I have a wooden pickaxe. Which we're gonna get upgraded to stone in a bit. I'm gonna get like a ton of this black stone here. Like a ton. Because, well... Yeah, the uh, tools. <laughs> tools and also for building. So this is amazing. I wanna explore some more of this. So I'm not just gonna call it an episode here. No, no, no. I want to explore a little bit more. Um, but this is cool. And also, this is an easy way to get basalt. Uh, rather than having to... Keep your distance. Rather than having to find the pillars that you find uh, every now and then. Uh, by the way, I did mention the blackstone gold. But I don't think it actually generates in the world quite yet. Uh, so that is a thing to keep uh, note of. Please take a distance but this is cool you should ow you can also make bricks and stuff with this so that is cool okay now now okay then well I know where to I know where to go if I want the magma cream <laughs> but this is cool I love this biome okay before I start taking any more first off get down there I'm gonna get a little bit more of this stone. Then I'm gonna pick up the crafting table. Well, first off, I'm gonna defend myself against this thing. Eek. Potentially dying in the process. 
And also the lava puddles that are here and there. It's so cool. Alright, gonna circle around. Get my crafting table, and we're gonna go a little bit further in. I do want the gold, though. So I think I might... Eh. Hmm. It's just about hitting the hits right. Oh dear, let me fight this guy off. <laughs> Finally. Alright, we can't continue with wooden tools now that we have this, alright? We, we just can't. Look at that. Can you make a furnace with it? Can you? Yes, you can! <laughs> you can make a furnace with it. That's cool. I love it. And you can, you can make polished blackstone. That's cool. Alright. We, boys... We can get stone tools. Look at this. Stone tools purely from the nether. Goodbye, wooden tools. <laughs> I don't want those anymore. Getting an upgrade indeed. Advancement made. I don't even need them anymore. I don't need them. This this is amazing. <laughs> oh, I, I can feel the speed. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is this is amazing. This is such a great addition. Mojang, you did a great job. You did a good job. I'm so happy with this update. So happy with this update. <laughs> it's amazing. This is amazing. Okay, please note something real quick. The breaking of Netherrack. It's like super fast. I could have used that last episode. <laughs> and how, okay, how fast does it then break this stuff? Pretty fast, actually. This is such a great addition. Like, th this is, this is such a great update. Um, upgrade. And update. Everything. <laughs> Alright, uh, I want to, cons I kind of want to get up there. Kind of want to get up there and get a look from it like that. So I'm gonna try and dig through this basalt and uh, get up there. This is great. You are not though. You are not great. Get out of here. Okay, let me make a staircase up here so we can see it over here. Like, look, look. That is so much faster <laughs> than wooden tools. It's amazing. I love it. All right, we are out. So that was where we were before. Now we're up here. I only have a. I already have a stack of this. This is amazing. How much um, durability does it have? 131. Cool. All right. Uh, let's go. Whoa. Let's go up here. Can I say anything other than wow? Like all the generation of this is so cool. I love it. Oh dear. Just don't fall down the wrong hole. Otherwise you... Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Yeah, watch where you're going. <laughs> but this is such an amazing place. Really, really cool. I don't want to take any wrong jumps here. But yeah, let's just walk for a little bit. And explore. This is amazing. I keep saying that, but it's true. <laughs> like, whoa. Wait, does it even... Hold on. I think this might be one of the best views right here. Wow. I want to get over here to this corner if I can. Eh, can I? Just gonna do a little bit of that. Whoa. This is, this is amazing. I don't want to ruin it with my netherrack. <laughs> wow. I love this place. So much. And then walking down here with all these things towering up around you that's really cool really 
amazingly cool. <laughs> I love this. And look at this as well. And look at that almost staircase? Hold on. That almost looked like a man-made staircase, didn't it? Ah, it just looked like that from the side. That's cool, though. Alright, well, uh, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking time-lapse mining some of this stuff. Um, because I want basalt and I want, uh, well, most importantly, the black stone. And it's gonna take a little bit of time to mine. Um, and yeah, how about a quick time-lapse of that, like we did in the last episode? I think that would be pretty cool. Um, as long as I don't die to one of these things, then yeah. If I maybe hit on over here to one of these, I wonder, if we dig under this basalt here, do we then get blackstone at the bottom? Or does it just continue as basalt? I think... Yeah, it looks like it continues as basalt. Yeah, continues as basalt. Alright, so I gotta find a place that has basalt and also um, black stone. So let me find a good mining spot and I'll be back. This area doesn't seem too bad. I think I can dig in a little bit here and then dig some of this out here. It's almost sad to do it because it's so beautiful, but I mean, hey, we can find more of these biomes, so not too big of a deal. Um... So yeah, I think I'm gonna get to mining here. Gonna place down a crafting table. Gonna need a pickaxe. And I might even get some wood while I'm at it here because I'm gonna need more wood for sticks and such. But yeah, let me uh, mine some stuff. Alright, I have done a lot of mining as you can see, or as you just saw, and this is the result. I don't feel like I'm quite finished mining yet. Um, well, I am for now, but I don't want to open my inner chest right now, or I don't want to place it down. I want to get some more, but I'm going to get more off camera. Um, I just still want to explore some of this. Um, I want to see, that, that looks cool, everything in this biome looks amazing. I just want to see if we can get through maybe to the other side. Well, there's some over there. Uh, so maybe I can get around to this other place over here. Just to just to take a look and explore a little bit. Uh, if I can actually get up here. Alright, here we go. Through the crimson forest. Eh. If we can get up here. I like how this lava and the magma um, blocks here. I like how they spawn. Like in small puddles here and there. And this is interesting. <laughs> this is pretty high to the ceiling. There's a crimson forest. Alright. I'm gonna keep exploring a little bit. See what I can find. Maybe something interesting or a very cool view. And then I'll be right back uh, with you guys if I find something. This is looking pretty cool too. Looks like the mushrooms spawn in here as well, so that is good. 
news, that means you might have a chance of getting... Be able to get food and... Oh, wait, what? Oh! There's another... For <laughs> there's another fortress here. Okay. So they spawn here as well. Unless it's spawned in the Crimson Forest and then gets in here? I don't know. But hey. Another fortress. Let's see what we can find inside of it. But first, I just... Okay, actually, I want to get back up. Hold on. I wanted to take a closer look at this amazing view right here. Like that. It is pretty cool. Yep. Did, I, did that... Did that magma cube get in the way of my screenshot? I think it might have. <laughs> Alright. That's cool. Anyway, um, there's also a ton of blackstone here near the fortress, so that is more I can mine. I actually mined some more on my way over, uh, so that is cool, I think. If we're gonna explore this fortress, well, I mean, of course I've gotta explore it, because it can have gold and diamonds, so let's, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I actually don't know how long this episode is, but... I think it is probably near a point where we want to wrap it up. Because I see a lot of backstone I can mine here without it being in the open and looking ugly. Um, here at the fortress. So I think I might do that. And... Yeah. Ooh. Alright. Oh, that's a lot of bones. And there too. That's good. Alright, so actually it doesn't look like this fortress spawned inside of the um, Vessel Delta. Potentially. I don't know if they can or not. But uh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh dear. And we're back with these gas and whatnot. Okay. That's that's great. That's great. Anyways. Ow. Okay. Retreat. Retreat. <laughs> I'm gonna come back here. Uh, I don't feel like... We're gonna explore this in this episode. We have done it a ton of times, and I think this episode is lengthy enough. I want to keep it to um, the Basil Deltas for now. That's a lot of places. Yeah, I'm not well. I'm not welcome right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it for now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the Basil Deltas, and I hope it won't be the last biome that we're gonna see added to the Nether. Look at that. So cool. But anyways, guys, with all that said and done, I think I'm going to call it right here. Yeah, amazing. Really, really amazing. I can't wait to see what they're going to add next. By the way, in the snapshot, they also added a bunch of like building blocks. Well, of course, with the blackstone. Um, and also, you could make quartz bricks, I believe. Um, maybe other stuff. But uh, yeah, I guess I guess we need to do some building at some point. Like... Some big building? I don't know. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'll have to try and think of something. I'm not the best builder, but um, I feel like we should make something with these blocks. Since it is level survival, I feel like maybe we should do something with the blocks. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll think about it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.